Well, the teams shake hands at midcourt before the jump. Papadopoulos has played, has played the game at Dynamo Moscow. He's going to be joining, jumping up against a former Duke player, Elton Brand, who's now with the LA Clippers. So United States picking up full court here. Heinrich guarding Diamantidis. Hatsovertis comes out guarded by Joe Johnson. Kakuzius. Fotsis. Shot clock to nine. The defense is already pretty intense here for the United States. The block. Hatsovertis pulls up at the free throw line and gets it blocked by Brand. Excellent start by the United States. James left open for a three, bounces out into the corner, over to Anthony, off the backboard. The United States getting some open looks. Fotsis, entry pass to Papadopoulos. And the hook shot from the big fella. And that's important. It's good to see Papadopoulos get on track. Don't forget, the United States faced Greece at the Athens Olympics in 2004, and it was a very close game. Now, this is a different U.S. team with the exception of Anthony, Wade, and James. Nice drive by Carmelo Anthony. So the foul on Pop Papadopoulos. Carmelo Anthony makes the first. His emergence with this U.S. team has been incredible to watch. So Anthony of the Denver Nuggets, and he played for Syracuse, led them to a national title in college. His college coach is actually an assistant to Mike Krzyzewski, Jim Beheim, Domantidis, Kakuzius, Fatsis, Hatsovertis. Looks a little shaky up against Joe Johnson. Shot clock to four. Once again, Hatsovertis is going to have to shoot it and doesn't get the shot off in time. So poor execution on offense from Nikos Hatsovertis. Intriguing battle of an experienced Greek team who pride themselves on defense up against a, a very talented but young American side. Diamantidis. And he's fouled as he goes past Kurt Heinrich. So the United States fell asleep. That last trip down, Elton Brand had the ball knocked away. The United States have had some close games at times. We mentioned Italy were leading them at halftime by nine points. They only led Greece, they only led Germany 40 to 39 at halftime. And Kakuzius has the ball knocked away by Anthony, who I think has been the United States' best player at the FIBA World Championship. To a wide open, Kurt Heinrich. Well, that was the strategy of, that was the strategy of Germany. That was the strategy of Australia. And Kakuzius down the middle, the strategy of those teams was to allow the United States those open looks where they've struggled in past international tournaments. Offensive rebounding has been a problem for a lot of the teams that play the United States. This is exciting. Don't you know, in the United States right now, people looking in, possibly since the intensity level of this tournament, has just gone up a notch. And in Athens, anywhere in Greece, people are tuning in to watch this showdown. Very intriguing battle. Papadopoulos going up against 
Elton Brand and this time gets it blocked. Good defense by Greece and, and Hatchovertis is going to go in for the dunk. And James chased him, tried to get the block, but Greece's defense has already created a couple of opportunities here. Physically, the Greeks look like they match up better against the United States than some of their other opponents. And look at the offensive rebound from the United States and Elton Brand. Wow. I repeat, this is a watershed moment for international basketball. This game and the next one that follows. What a day it's going to be here inside Tama. The level of play from both sides looks like it's going to be very high. It's just so even. Diamantidis. Guarded by Heinrich. Over to Hatsovertis. Papadopoulos had his last shot blocked by Brand. And he's pushed and he's fouled by Elton Brand. Papadopoulos has raised a few eyebrows at the Olympics, but even more so in this tournament. His game has improved, his footwork, which is so key for a big man. Kikuzius of Barcelona over to Papadopoulos again, the double team. Kikuzius left open for the three, off the front of the rim. Five thirty-eight to go. Anthony drives down, fouled as he entered the lane. Think he's enjoying himself? So the foul called on Lazarus Papadopoulos. Two cheap fouls. Chris Paul, who had been starting at point guard, comes in for the United States, and big Safakis Shortsanidis who's really captured the attention of everybody, not only because of his size, that big frame. He's already been drafted, by the way, by the Clippers, so he could end up being a teammate of Elton Brand one day. But not only the size, but the play of Shorts and Edis has really been something to behold here in this tournament. Anthony makes both free throws, so the United States have made all four of their free throws so far. The United States back on top, 7-6. to six. Hatsavertis guarded closely by Johnson. Diamantidis, shot clock to eight. And good rebound by the Greeks, good defense, and then Chris Paul steals it away. And the United States are going to get an open look. Nine to six, the United States. The depth on this Greek team, or this U.S. team, and Shortsanidis goes up strong. Second foul called against Elton Brand. So he has to go to the seat. He has to go to the bench. Shortsanidis doesn't give away much in terms of size against any of these Americans. In fact, he doesn't give anything away. He gives something away in inches, height, certainly not in strength and girth. Shortsanidis spent last season playing with Olympiakos in Greece. They had a very good season. He had kind of a breakout season with them. He'll be with them again next season. Dwayne Wade also into the game, number eight. He's a crowd favorite. LeBron James, and strong move LeBron James. Nice play by the Ohio native. Plays now with Cleveland. One of the tri-captains in this team. Vasilius Spinoulis has come in, number seven. He's got the ball. He'll be going up against all these players next year in the NBA, playing with the Houston Rockets, just signed for them. Diamantidis fouled by Dwayne Wade. 
<laughs> oh, goodness me. So this too, I'd like to see that again. <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne Wade knocked it away, and that was LeBron James. What can he not do is the question. Wow. Domantinus makes the first one. United States have truly represented themselves well here in Japan. They've built a program. And it all starts at the top with Jerry Colangelo, the executive director, Mike Krzyzewski, Dan Tony, Jim Beheim. They've really set the tone. Nate McMillan, they're a class act. LeBron James, and it goes to Dwight Howard. So the U.S., who had been shooting some jumpers, suddenly finding their way to the basket. We've heard so much about the Greek defense, but giving away easy opportunities. The lead is four. Shot clock to eight. Open to Fatsis, passed up to three. Ball knocked out of bounds by Carmelo Anthony, but the U.S. defense isn't giving anything away right now. And I think, unfortunately, for Carmelo Anthony, he has to take a seat after making a big play. It's the one problem you've got in this U.S. team. There's so many good players, and you've got to keep them happy. Spinulis for three. Oh, and he banks it in. Did he call backboard? I don't think so. But it's noted that the Greek shots, some of them are rushed because of that quick defense by the Americans. Wide open, LeBron James, another offensive rebound, and the dunk by Dwight Howard. And the Greeks already have a problem on the offensive rebounds. The United States out-rebounding them 7-3, to three, and on the offensive glass, they've got three rebounds. Cross court to Hatsovertis for three. And Schwarzenegger goes up for the rebound, has the ball knocked away by Dwight Howard, who's made a big impact on the game. Dwayne Wade for three. Schwarzenegger battles, and again, offensive rebound, Dwight Howard. Not much the Greeks can do. They're going to have to do a little bit better job getting a body on him. Well, Hatsovertis has checked out, and the leader of this team, Theo Papaloukas, who comes off the bench, has checked in. Howard makes the first one. Howard has come in off the bench. He's got five points, two of Two of two from the floor. Misses the second one, but another offensive rebound in Dwayne Wade. 18 to 12. So the offensive boards, you know about the defense, and it's also the offensive rebounding. It's really hurting the Greeks right now. The United States up to their biggest lead of the game, 18 to 12. Turnover, Papa Lucas. Dwayne Wade carries in the lane, has it knocked away, but gets it back. Wide open, Shane Battier in the corner. And this time over the back, it's Chris Bosch. Mike Krzyzewski giving the referee an earful, didn't care for that call. Schwarzenegger's 
Schwarzenegger is taking that opportunity to offer some instruction to his players, and the referee went over and motioned to him to let them get back on the court. Konstantino Tsitsaras coming in. Fotsis makes both shots, comes out. Fotsis had a great game against the U.S. at the Olympics. He comes out. Chris Paul, Tsitsaras into the corner to Shane Battier. It's not been the shooting that's killed the Greeks right now. It's been the offensive rebounds. They've got five so far, the Americans. Dwayne Wade drifts into the corner. And he is just magical, Dwayne Wade, watching him with the ball. A lot of comparisons made between Dwayne Wade and Michael Jordan after he led the Miami Heat to the NBA title this season with that 4-2 series victory over Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks. Wade was phenomenal. And he is one of the players with Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James who played on that Olympic team in Athens. The, where the Americans won the bronze medal, Greece lost to eventual champions Argentina in a very close quarterfinal. Spinoulas gets the, the pick. Tsitsaras passed up the three. And Tsitsaras. Just four seconds on the shot clock. United States block Spinulis as he goes in. Chris Paul. Foul on Theo Papalukas. So Wade missed those two free throws, but Chris Paul, the NBA Rookie of the Year, went to Wake Forest. He makes one of two, but another offensive rebound given away by Greece, and it's killing them right now. Bosch out on the perimeter, Chris Paul. Greece in a 2-3 zone. Here's Chris Paul, shot clock to five. And another offensive rebound. The United States should have tapped that in. They had two players right at the rim. <laughs> Tsitsaras. Spinulis. Diamantidis drives and almost had a chance for a three-point play, but doesn't make it. Look at that. How did the United States not come away with points on that possession? I saw four hands up there, and they were all American. Greece, in their first game in this tournament, trailed Qatar 28 to 12 and came back and beat them rather soundly. Greece, five of seven from the line. If I remember correctly, it was 20 points they came back to win that game by. So it's a five-point lead. Costly misses. Penetration, foul, charge called against Dwayne Wade. Good call. I mean, it, it's one of those, it's going to be called. Dwayne Wade did not like it. U.S. <laughs> having to bite their tongue, having to bite their lip, not say anything. Schwarzenegger comes out. Fotsis, Tsitsaras, Spinulis, Papalukas, and Diamantidis all in the game. So... 
Fotsis is big. He'll play at a power forward position. And uh, it's Saras, the big man. United States don't want Greece to run down the clock here at the end, but Greece want to hold it for one shot. Fotsis from the corner gets it swatted. And the foul called on Chris on Fotsis, reaching over for Chris Bosch. So what a play by Chris Bosch. So interesting how defense gives you opportunities. That time, fantastic effort by Chris Bosch. United States now 6 of 11 from the free throw line. They're out rebounding Greece 13 to 6. Theo Papaloukas doesn't have much time. Puts up a three. Bricks it. So he got a good shot. Greece trail 20 to 14. At the end of the first quarter in this semifinal at the FIBA World Championship here in Saitama. United States started off here in the second quarter. LeBron James back in, Carmelo Anthony on the baseline. It's a short one for James, and now it's their biggest lead, 22 to 14. Bounce pass, Papadopoulos. Banks it in. Coach K wanting to travel, but no call. 22 to 16. Papadopoulos takes his tally in this game to four points and a charge called against LeBron James. LeBron James, just 21 years old. Spinoulis. Spinoulis pulls up for three and blocked, shooting a three by LeBron James, who, if you read lips, you'll notice they won't be too happy about that call. Greece five of eight from the free throw line right now. Spanulis makes the second one. Seen a lot of players fouled behind the arc in this tournament, a lot of the games. So Spinulis makes him pay, converts all threes, back to a three-point game. Spinulis guarding Paul. Carmelo Anthony, guarded by Tsitsaras in the corner, Greece in a 2-3 zone. James over to Anthony, shot clock to five. Anthony, count it. United States looking for those shots close to the basket. 
Anthony so far been able to knock down a couple of jumpers. He's got eight points. Papadopoulos, spin move the other way, throws it over the basket, and the rebound again goes to the Americans. Bounce pass. Oh, and just like that, LeBron James. <laughs> and that is entertaining stuff. And the crowd appreciates it. 26 to 19. Greece, I can't see Greece winning this game if they don't improve the rebounding situation. They're just getting dominated right now. Spinoulis dishes and good play by Spinoulis to dump it to Papadopoulos. The foul on Dwight Howard. Heinrich, Elton Brand back in and James after that great fast break dunk has to sit down. Looks like both teams fired up for this one, especially the United States. They want to get out and run. But right now, they're, they're out rebounding Greece 14 to 6. Anthony, way too easy for the United States, drifting into the lane. Over wide open Diamantidis, dishes to Papadopoulos, ball knocked away by Anthony. It's showtime. Turnovers and fast breaks, points in the paint for the United States, 16. Anthony has a game high 12 points for the U.S. Papadopoulos, and a charge called against Papadopoulos. Well, that U.S. shooting percentage has gone right up there, and it's because they're getting those steals and fast breaks, easy shots. Also, Anthony finding his range, right drifting into the lane, stopping and popping. Greece need to pick it up on defense, start playing a little more sense of urgency here against the United States. Joe Johnson from the corner. The lead goes to 12 for the United States against the European champions. Papa Lucas dishes to Papadopoulos. Well, the U.S. are dropping off to double team, and Greece are having players open. Greece now back in a 2-3. Johnson just hit one. And that's a rare occurrence, a Greek rebound. Takes him up to seven for the game. The U.S. have twice as many. Entry pass, Anthony out of bounds. Kakuzius. I don't think there's any question that Carmelo Anthony is the leader of this team and has been the best player, both offensively and defensively. He's been amazing. Papa Lucas to Kakuzius, who's guarded by Shane Battier in the corner. Shot clock to two. Spinulis puts up a long one again. And that USA defense not allowing Greece to get involved in any of their sets. Kurt Heinrich up and down. Tried the dribble. Seven turnovers for the United States, six for Greece, but it's the rebounds and really the U.S. scoring off those turnovers by Greece. That's made the difference. And it goes to big shot. 
Baby Shaq, and he missed the dunk. Oh, and he gets swatted by Diamantidis. Chris Paul, see if that lifts the Greeks. Spinoulis for three, wide open. And fouled by Kurt Heinrich. The second time Spinoulis has been fouled while shooting a three-pointer. You just have to love the way the U.S. play the game. They are just playing at a frenetic pace. They're fast, quick, but Greeks trying to hang with them right now, down by 10 points. I would think so far that Greece have been able to play at a tempo which is acceptable to them. They certainly don't want to run, run with the U.S. What they have to do is cut down on their turnovers and once again figure out a way to start boxing out the Americans, preventing them from getting those offensive boards. Greece fall back in a 2-3 zone again. Howard, Heinrich in the corner. Chris Paul penetrates Kurt Heinrich, a long three. And rebound, and this allows Theo Papalukas to run. Kicks it over to Diamantidis, who scores. And Greece get a transition basket. Kurt Heinrich. Greece back in a 2-3. And good defense for Diamantidis, and the crowd appreciate the effort from Greece. I'd be surprised if we didn't see Demos Takutis in this game. I just can't see... He didn't play in the last one for Greece, and I think he's got the type of game that could live with his leave with the United States. Joe Johnson, guarded by Baby Shaq, is what he's called, and ha Spinulis looked to run. Shortsinidis missed that two-handed dunk. Theo Papalukas goes all the way. Theo Papalukas and Greece have fought back and trail 33 to 30. LeBron James pulls up another offensive rebound for the United States and he goes up and he's gonna get a chance for a three point play. Dwight Howard has been an animal on the boards all day long. And just like that, the United States come back and kill the Greeks where they've been hurting them all day long. And he makes the free throw. Dalmatitas for three. Count it. Well, the Greeks. In a heavyweight battle right now, like they haven't faced in this entire FIBA World Championship. And Dwight Howard, some of the self-belief growing in the Greek team. No question about it. You can feel it. Up ahead to big man, Shortsinidis for the dunk. And just like that, it's 36-35. And the United States know they've got a game on their hands. Chris Paul, the block called against Spinoulis. There won't be any panic whatsoever, but what you're going to see as Shortsinidis goes up on the fast break, you're going to see Carmelo Anthony check back into the game, and Dwayne Wade is going to have a seat. Spinoulis now has two fouls. Carmelo Anthony back into the game. He's been the Americans' best player. Kind of a Soft foul given away by Spinoulis. 
They call him Sofo, short Sianidis. Short, Sofo is short for Sophocles. Thought there, there was an earthquake yesterday, 4.8 on the Richter scale here inside Tama. We thought it was short Sianidis walking into the arena, but it was indeed an earthquake. He's a big man. Kikuzius with the foul. So the next one that Greece commit will put Team USA on the line. James. Johnson back to James in the corner to Paul. Johnson works it inside. Chris Paul for the dunk. So Chris Bosch, I mean, so good patience by the United States. Spinoulis. And it goes to Big Shorts and Edis again. And Greece are finding their big man in the low post. And good defense by Greece, and it's going to go out of bounds to the Greeks. And Kurt Heinrich is going to come back into the game, and he's going to spell LeBron James, possibly give the United States a little bit better ball handling. If Greece hit the shot here and take the lead, this Saitama Super Arena is going to absolutely explode. And it goes to Baby Shaq, and he scores! Greece have taken the lead. Short Sinidis, 39-38, Greece. And it looked like the U.S. are going to run away with it for a while there in the first half. And Greece have been hanging around. Chris Paul drives in. Looked like he got tripped, but there's no call. Diamantidis, Kakuzis, bounce pass back to Diamantidis. And here he is again, Shortsinidis, and they don't have an answer for Sophocles Shortsinidis. The referee tells Papalukas to get up. Another Greek, another turnover forced by the Greeks, and Papalukas has the ball. Spinoulis. Papalukas drives in, hits the layup right before the expiration of the shot clock, and we've got a timeout by the United States who trail 43-38. Greeks have stepped up their defense, extending it, and penetration into the lane, Chris Paul. And to combat, combat that D, the United States have Heinrich in the game, so he's going to pop out. Chris Paul with two shots. So that makes it 43-40. See if that calms things down for the United States. Spinoulis, 23 seconds left in the half. About a seven second differential on the shot clock. Papalukas goes up and with the left hand, he scores it. Back to a five point lead. The United States have eight seconds left here to chip into that lead, chip into that deficit. Oh, and it's blocked by Tetsaurus. Anthony was going up for the two handed jam and it was blocked by Tetsaurus. And the reason why they call that foul is because it's a sweeping motion. I think the USA could be trailing by 10 points with a minute to go and there'd be no panic in their eyes. But certainly the self-belief has grown a little bit here in the Greek team in the first half. Greece will want to get a shot before the end of the half, but they'll also make sure not to throw the ball into the hands of the US. A long one, Domitidis. Well, I think if you'd ask Greece what they'd like at halftime, if possible, 45-41, they'd take it.
Papalukas is going to start the second half. Fatsis. Papadopoulos has those three fouls for Greece, the center. So Schwarzenegger does start. Domantidis in the lane, hits it. So a good start for Greece here, 47-41. We've been talking to the Greek journalists at halftime, and they say everybody is watching this game back in Greece. A lot of people taking the day off. It's quite an event. The European champions last year beating Germany in the final in Belgrade. Strong move, good patience for the United States. Dwight Howard and Carmelo Anthony have been easily the best players for the U.S. today. Very difficult to contain. Carmelo Anthony on Fatsis, Heinrich, Spinoulis. Spinoulis goes around and draws the foul on Heinrich. And Panyadis Inakis wanting an unsportsmanlike foul because he wasn't anywhere close to the ball. Spinoulis will get to play against Heinrich next year in the NBA, having decided to leave Panathinaikos and go ahead and sign with the Houston Rockets, the team that drafted him. And it's Fatsis for three. The lead is their biggest of the game now, 50 to 43. Heinrich for three, count it. Team USA battle back, no panic. That's why he's in there. Heinrich can nail that three. Papa Lucas over to Fatsis and the lane gets up and he's going to have a chance for a three point play. Draws the foul from Carmelo Anthony. And so far, Greece not showing any signs of cracking against this very talented American team and Mike Krzyzewski. I won't say it's a worried look. He's been in a lot of big games in his career, but I think he knows that he's in a battle here in the semifinal of the FIBA World Championship. The United States having been knocked out in the quarterfinals in Indianapolis four years ago. And two years ago, these two teams met at the Olympics, which the United States won, and USA went on to win the bronze medal. But with USA, that's not good enough. They want to win the gold. They're going to have to get by a tough Greek team. And a foul called on Shortsinidis, number five. Who moved in, moved in too late. So there'll be free throws coming up for Carmelo Anthony who's been such a fantastic player here in Japan. He has really taken to the role of captain, one of three captains with Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. And for my money, Carmelo Anthony's been the man. Mike Krzyzewski. Things weren't working for Greece, playing man-to-man. -man. They went to the zone, started getting a few opportunities in transition. They got. Big Sofo involved, and the next thing you know, they're in front. Anthony misses both free throws. The Americans, 11 of 19 from the line, 58%. Do not adjust your set. Greece are leading 52-46 here early in the third quarter. Spinoulis. And to, to Schwarzenegger, who was blocked, and gets the rebound and puts it up. 54-46 now, their biggest lead of the game, Greece. Eight points. Anthony penetrates, drives, and it's a captain's drive for Carmelo Anthony. They fall asleep, the Americans. Shorsenidis goes up for the Snowbird. It's back to a 56-48 lead. Chris Paul over to James. He gets swatted by Baby Shack. <laughs> oh, this is terrific stuff. Just to see the efforts of both of these teams, that was a hard foul on LeBron James, who's had a few of those in his career. Dwayne Wade into the game. Elton Brand takes his place in the lineup as well. So Wade, 
Brand, James, Paul, and Carmelo. Eight point lead. U.S. free throw shooting leaves a little bit to be desired at this point. 11 of 20. This is both. And USA get the rebound. And Dwayne Wade is fouled by Schwarzenegger. And that means he's going to have, he's asking to stay in. That's three fouls on Schwarzenegger. And I don't think Yanakis wants to take a chance. He's going to bring his big guy out of the game. If there's one area where the United States is killing Greece, it's on the offensive glass. Nine offensive rebounds for the USA. Schwarzenegger checks out. He's got 13 points to lead Greece. Now this Greek team won the European title last year in Belgrade. It is a better team, a year older, but also with the addition of Schwarzenegger, he wasn't there. Dwayne Wade. These guys have seen it all with their clubs in the U.S., but the international game is a little bit different. They're not familiar at all with these Greek players. Diamantidis. Tetsaras guarded by Brand. Spinoulis works against Paul. Shot clock down to seven. Spinoulis for three. Count it! Spinoulis takes the lead to nine. The biggest lead. Anthony fouled by Fotsis. Fotsis says he didn't touch him, and that's a big call. Because Fotsis, with that foul, well, that's his second. Actually, the foul called on Spinoulis. Looked like he'd called the trip. Looked like he'd called the trip on, on uh, Fotsis. How are the United States going to react to being behind by nine points more than three minutes into the second half? Dimas Takoudis, a big, powerful forward, checks into the game for Greece. James for three. Rebound. The smallest guy on the floor for Greece, Spinoulis. Diamantidis. Sitsaras. Diamantidis for three. Count it. He hits it. They feel it right now. Greece have taken a 62-50 lead. If they didn't believe it at halftime, they sure believe now because the USA are struggling against the European champions. Third foul to Saurus. The Greeks getting hot, hitting some three-pointers now. They've got five of 11 for the game. And the free throw shooting woes for the United States continue. Well. Hatsuvertis. It, and it's Tetsaris joins the three point shooting barrage. This is remarkable. Greece lead at 65-51. Chris Paul, and it goes a dunk by Dwayne Wade. Greece are six of 12 from three-point range. At halftime, they were two of eight.
Entry pass to Dakotas and he makes it. And Papalukas spots Dakotas. And Greece have gone back on top, 67-53. I don't think there's any question uh, that, again, the confidence has grown in the Greek team. Wade penetrates, drives, foul on Tsitsaras. That's now four fouls on Tsitsaras. Kakuzi is going to come back in, so. So Kakuzius and Dakutis need to give some big minutes here for Greece. Going up against that powerful front line of the U.S. Well, actually, it's only Brand in the game right now for the big guys. USA, 15 of 26 from the line, 58%. It's been one of their problems. And Wade sinks both of them. The lead is 12. Dakotas. Down Titus, guarded closely by Paul. He finds Dakotas, who goes up strong. And that American defense extending, and the double team gives the Greeks the open man in the lane. You get double teamed, somebody's got to be open. Carmelo Anthony for three. Carmelo Anthony, 18 points already. He leads all scores. Eleven point lead. Diamant Diamantidis, and it goes. Papa Lucas, the follow by Dakutis, who's given some good minutes off the bench. USA with a chance to break. Elton Brand into the hands of Greece. Papa Lucas. Oh, and he finds Dakutis wide open, blocked by the U.S. But Kakuzius chases down the rebound, and Greece pull it back out. Spine tingling stuff. Papa Lucas in the lane, goes up, misses the layup. Good rebound by James. Here come the Americans. Anthony for three. Good. 71 61. 316 to play in the third. Diamantidis fouled by Chris Paul. Mello with that three-pointer took his tally to 21 points for the game. Two of three from three-point range, five of five inside the arc, five of eight from the line. He is carrying this team. He's playing with confidence, Carmelo Anthony, and his team desperately need him right now. 71-61. Hatsuvertis over to Papalukas. Diamantidis, Dakutis, gets his man off the glass, off his feet, Wade, and Dakutis goes in with a bank shot. Heinrich crosses midcourt, over to Anthony again, who is open, misses that three, but the long rebound in the corner to the United States and James. Heinrich, you, Greece still in the 2-3 zone. Anthony, guarded by Papalukas. Papalukas knocks it out of bounds. 12 seconds on the shot clock, 2.21 to go here in the third quarter. Wade in the corner. Anthony, offensive rebound, the battle of Battier. Battling Battier and it comes out to Greece. And oh, Battier scraps and gets it back for the USA. Anthony. Shane Battier hustling on the floor. It's why he's in this squad. 
gives his team a defensive spark. Papa Lucas. Kukuzius on the baseline. He hits it. And right now, Greece are just on fire offensively. They are shooting 62% inside the arc. Wade kicks it out. James, or Joe Johnson, Battier with the rebound and the foul called on Diamantidis. Before the shot, Shane Battier lifting his teammates. Timeout on the floor. Substitution. Diamantidis, Hatsuverdis out. Fotsis back in with Spanoulis, along with Papa Lucas. Kukuzis and Dakutis, who's been huge in limited action. Six points, eight points for Dakutis. The Greeks talking in Greek, so the Americans can't understand them. <laughs> and Battier off the back of the rim. It's a 12 point lead for Greece. Both of these teams undefeated in this tournament. It is truly a heavyweight showdown. USA won Group D. Greece won Group C. In Hamamatsu. The Americans were in Sapporo. Spinoulis. Since the double team might be coming. Eight seconds. Spinoulis pulls up. Gets blocked by Battier. The quick jumper, Battier, Johnson, kicks it to Heinrich, over goes to Wade in the lane, draws the foul on Dakutis. Excellent play by the United States. And once again, it's Shane Battier. Shane Battier started it with that block shot. Two blocks for Shane Battier, two rebounds. And he's hustling all over the place. When the United States put this team together, the free throw shooting woes continue. When the United States put this team together, they put together a team of versatility, of players to fill certain roles. Battier was the one player they had to play that lockdown defense and it's paying dividends today. The lead is now 10. Good training for Spinoulis as he gets ready for his rookie NBA campaign with the Houston Rockets. I don't think he's thinking about that right now. Papa Lucas. And a foul called on Battier. Very strange. Must have. Shane Battier played for Mike Krzyzewski at Duke University along with Elton Brand. Brand on the bench. Fotsis, Spinoulis. I'm a little surprised Dwight Howard's not on the floor because he's been so effective. 31 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Fotsis. Oh, and he turns it over. Charge. 25 seconds now. USA trailing by 10. I don't think they'll hold it for one shot. I think they'll attack the basket. And Vasilopoulos comes in for Fatsis. Panyanas Vasilopoulos, the youngster, comes in. 17 seconds, so the US will hold it for one shot. Wade. Possibly penetrate, kick it out to James or Heinrich in the corner. Drives in all the way, and it gets out to Spinoulis, who has enough time. Drives in and scores for Greece. How's that for a finish to the third quarter, which has been owned by Greece? No question about it. These guys believe they can pull a stunner. 77-65.
and the confidence has grown. But do not count out Team USA. We've got a long way to go in this one. Penetration, drive, Dwayne Wade puts up a wild one and it goes in and draws the foul. And Gree's asking, where was the foul? And very cheap foul called on Papa Lucas, I think. If you look at that one again. It takes it to a 10 point lead. Good start to the fourth quarter, Dwayne Wade. He makes it, so the U.S. 19 of 32, 59% from the free throw line, leading 77-68, our Greece. Dakota's battling for position. He's a big body. He's strong, guarded by Joe Johnson. Spinulis in the game. Greece shooting six of 12 from three point range. Most of those in the third quarter, there were two of eight in the first half from the arc. Takuda sets the pick. Kukuzius for three, count it! And they are falling right now, <laughs> seven of 13 for Greece. Nine minutes to go, Greece on top by 12. And the defense, and the United States, because the ball was hit over, and Heinrich saw an opportunity for an alley-oop. I think people in the crowd thought it may have been over and back. Then he put it up to James. The foul on Kukuzius. I'll tell you what, basketball is going to be the topic of conversation in Japan for the rest of this FIBA World Championship after this game. This has been a phenomenal contest. Both teams playing really hard. Look at this arena, it is jam packed. I'm sure most people here are expecting the United States to win against Greece. If you would have read the headlines, you would have seen the papers here. It was all about Team USA. A little bit of ignorance about the rest of the world game, particularly, particularly Greece. It's uh, been a great contest so far, Dakutis. And great defense from Dwayne Wade. Turns it over to the United States. 11 point lead, Heinrich pulls up for three. Off the back of the rim, long rebound, LeBron James. Anthony into the lane. And it goes to Wade for the two handed dunk. <laughs> 80 to 71. At some point we're gonna see full court pressure from the US. When are they gonna apply it? Spinulis. Kukuzius for three, missed badly. Dakutis chases it down and throws it out of bounds off Wade. What a terrific play, two-handed jam from Dwayne Wade. When he gets going to the basket, I don't know who stops him. And the entry pass, and it's gotta be a three-point play opportunity for Kukuzius. Defensive breakdown from the United States on the inbounds pass. Eighty-two, seventy-one. I wasn't in Greece when they won the European title in 87, which changed basketball forever in Europe with Panyotis Yanakis on the floor. But I, I suspect the feeling in the arena that day was something to what we're feeling right now here in Saitama. The way these Greeks are playing, 83-71, less than eight minutes to go in the game. Anthony from the corner for three. He is doing it for the U.S. Three of six, 27 points. Carmelo Anthony. Some of the other 
players like Pau Gasol of Spain have come into the arena to watch this game, this is the place to be. All of Turkey here, all of these teams. Theo Papalukas shot clocked, down to two, he goes up and scores with his left hand. Back to an 11 point lead for Greece. Battier, Wade for three, good, count it. What courage Dwayne Wade shown. I'll tell you, those shots are harder to make when you're down than when you're leading. Anthony and Wade, the two captains, James, the other captain, those two guys hitting the three-pointers. Kakuzius drives, draws the foul from Battier. Don't understand why Dwight Howard hasn't played as much in the second half. He was fantastic in the first half. Ten points, four of six inside the arc. Two of three from the line, seven rebounds. And the Americans, and I think possibly a lot of the Japanese here supporting the U.S., And that takes it back to a nine-point lead. Paul, James. Cross court it goes. Anthony for three. Battier with the rebound. Chris Paul for three. And the U.S. keeping it alive. And now Greece have a chance to run. Spanoulis. He'll pull it back out. Chris Paul. On Spanoulis, over to Papalukas. Greece trying to control the tempo. Papalukas, guarded by LeBron. Seven seconds on the shot clock, Spanoulis. He's waiting, puts up the three, rims out. The battle for the board, and it's Carmelo Anthony with the board. Less than six minutes to go, Greece leading by nine. Dalmantidis. Trying to stay with Anthony, who goes up. Battle misses. Now Greece can run. Papalukas, Spinoulis goes up strong, and it's blocked by the U.S., but the foul called, and the basket counts. It's goaltending. Dwayne Wade, Spinoulis. Whew. Catch your breath, folks. 88-77, Greece leading the United States, 5.39 to play. Spinoulis, the big star with Panathinaikos last season in Greece and in the EuroLeague, misses the three-point play opportunity. He'll be teaming up with Yao Ming next year with the Houston Rockets, Spinoulis. LeBron James guarded by Papalukas, wanting to get into the lane, get a good shot. LeBron. Kicks it over to Paul, and it goes out of bounds. 5-21 left in the game, and Greece lead it by 11. And it's interesting, a contrast of styles for Greece. In the first half, it was Shortsanidis who really turned the game in their favor, and he really hasn't played since going to the bench early in the second half with those three fouls. Theo. Drives, Kakuzius, corner, off the rim. The USA have a chance to run. Three on two break. Wade, over to James. Great composure by the US. 4.45. Papa Lucas. Bounce pass, it goes, and blocked by Team USA, Battier, his third block of the game, and the foul called on Papa Lucas. Shane Battier's defense. At the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, the Americans won gold. They were pushed by Lithuania and France in the gold medal game. <coughs> Lithuania in the semifinal. At the last World Championships, the USA lost in the quarterfinals, and at the Olympics in Athens, 
they finish with a bronze medal. And James, strong move inside. It's the closest they've been for a long time, 88-81. Greece in front. Expect the defensive pressure, and Schwarzenegger has also come back in for Team USA. I mean, for uh, Greece, excuse me. Schwarzenegger in the game. And he gets the entry pass, and LeBron James fouls Schwarzenegger. And I think that's five fouls, so Schwarzenegger may have free throws. All those afternoons at the gym, Shooting free throws. And Schwarzenegger knocks it down. You know the pressure is coming from the USA. So you got Spinulis on the floor. Misses the second one. Spinulis, Papalukas, and Diamantidis. Dwayne Wade spins, gets in the lane. Over to James. How does he hang in the air like that? <laughs> it's unreal. LeBron James and the foul, the travel. And one ref is going to overrule the other. And he's going to call the foul on Spinulis. Greece not actually in the bonus yet, or the USA. So the next foul from Greece, and they will be in the bonus. It's an eight-point lead, three and a half minutes to go in the game. Johnson in the corner. Wade goes up, misses the dunk. How did he miss it? Papa Lucas and Domantidis. And already the signs of the pressure. Will the American pressure start to pay dividends? 3.20 to go. James drives strong to the basket. LeBron James explodes to the hoop, 89-83. The U.S. fans on their feet. But so are the Greeks. It's an incredible atmosphere inside Tama. Spinulis drives and he scores. 2.50 to go in the game. 91-83, Greece leading. In the corner, Kurt Heinrich for three. Count it. The USA are coming back. It's a five-point lead. Can Greece hold on? You've got to feel like we're watching history here. I'm not sure this game has ever had an equal in the World Championship. It is phenomenal. Baby, it's Schwarzenegger, an intentional unsportsmanlike foul called against Kurt Heinrich because he wasn't playing the ball. And the Lithuanians, the Lithuanians are starting to side with the Greeks here in the crowd. Schwarzenegger misses the free throw. Schwarzenegger is now two of five from the line. He's been shooting 60% in the tournament. And misses both of them, so that's a big opportunity that goes amiss for the Greeks. Dwight Howard not in the game. It's a team that can apply a lot of pressure right now for Team USA. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Two minutes to go. Spinoulis open for three. Oh, he has it! Vasily Spinoulis! 158 to go. It's back to an eight point lead. Good defense by Papa Lucas. The USA finally looks stunned. It's not over. But this is definitely, you got to feel Greece's game to win. Joe Johnson. LeBron James. Over to Wade in the corner for three. Off the rim. Battle for the board, and it's Greece. A minute and a half to go. Greece 
improbably, unbelievably, incredulously are leading 94 to 86 over Team USA. This simply was not in the plan for the USA when they put their team together. The steal, up ahead to Wade, who goes in for the layup. Full court pressure, Papa Lucas. 105 to go, six point lead, long time to go. Can the Americans come up with another steal? LeBron James guarding Diamantinas, who penetrates, kicks it over to Kakuzius from the corner. Long rebound, it goes out to Greece. Spinolis, 48 seconds left. The United States are gonna have to start thinking about fouling, and they do. They foul Spinolis. And they fouled a good free throw shooter. In, the Europe, in this championship, he's been shooting 90% from the free throw line. Greece lead it by six. Oh, and he missed it. The pressure. The pressure is telling on Greece. They have missed three straight free throws. Can they hold off the Americans? That takes it up to seven. 44.8 seconds to go. The Americans need points and they need them quickly. Time is the enemy. Heinrich from the corner. Nails the three. Here comes the presser. And Kakuzius is fouled now. That Heinrich three-pointer cuts the lead to four. And the Americans are complaining that Heinrich got hammered by Schwarzenegger saying there was no call in the corner. And Heinrich has to come out because with that, that foul was his fifth. So that is a big one because he's one of their best shooters. Kakuzius makes the first one. Greece no better than anybody. The games aren't over until they're over because they've come back so many times, even in this tournament. So there's a long way to go. Kakuzius makes the second one. 97-91. Back to a six-point lead. Fatsis in the game. Kakuzius. Papalukas. LeBron James drives. Strong move, battle for the board. James gets the rebound and puts it up and in. 27 seconds to go, the United States trailing by four. Fatsis has to get the ball in bounds. Turnover. The United States, the pressure defense. Failure to execute is not something that we've seen much of today. Carmelo Anthony for three. Rebound, he shot an air ball and he's fouled. Fatsis gets the rebound. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what in the world? Carmelo Anthony has been so good today. But on that one, he missed it with an air ball. Anthony has 27 points, hasn't scored in a while. Spinulis with 22 leads Greece. Fatsis makes the first one. Turkey watching this game. Don't see them celebrating too much, seeing their rivals beating Team USA. 22 seconds to play. The United States down by six. LeBron James right down the lane. It goes up for the two-handed jam. Four-point game. Kakuzius. And you've got to believe that if Greece can hit their free throws, this is their game. Kakuzius putting him up. Makes the free throw. Nine, 100. Greece have put 100 points on the board against the United States. 15.6 seconds to go. Will it be enough? Six point lead, it's a two possession game. LeBron James pulls up for three, no good. Greece are gonna upset the United States. It's, the clock is ticking down, three seconds. Chris Paul, Greece has stunned the United States of America. Theo Papalukas kicks the ball up in the stands. Greece has shown the balance in the international game. They've won the European title. They've beaten the United States 101 to 95. Celebrations underway here in the Saitama Arena for them and their fans.